This is your statewide newscast. Arkansas Today. There could be a confidently 50 patients. They do have entrapment. They've also had some ejected from the bus. Bring me all the medical supplies you got. We got some people hurt pretty bad. It's a tragic morning in the natural state as a bus carrying Little League football players from Dallas to Memphis crashes in central Arkansas. Good afternoon, I'm Aaron Nolan. And I'm Mallory Brooks. 11-year-old Cameron Johnson was killed in that crash. 45 others were injured. Now, the crash happened on Interstate 30, just west of Benton, around 2.30 this morning. Again, the bus was carrying several Little League football teams from a competition in Dallas heading back home to Memphis, Tennessee. We have team coverage this afternoon. Hillary Hunt is live at the crash scene, and Mitch McCoy is in one of the hospitals where the injured children are being treated. Let's start with Hillary with the latest on the investigation. Hillary, what can you tell us? Mallory and Aaron, just moments ago, that bus was actually pulled from the ditch, taken off of its side. It took multiple crews. I'm going to step out of the way and give you a closer look at that bus that was carrying that 45-plus passengers. You can see multiple windows busted down, the roof peeling off. And as you can see, multiple tow trucks. It took two tow trucks and some cable wire to actually take it off its side out of this ditch off of exit 111, and they put it up on its side. I'm being told it's going to be taken to a tow yard where those crews are going to try to piece together back what happened. Now, according to state police earlier this morning, they sent us a release letting us know that they actually spoke to the bus driver. She told them that around 2.40 this morning, she was heading east on I-40 right at this exit and lost control of that bus. That's all we know right now from the driver, but we are told that she is speaking with authorities to figure out what exactly happened but as you can see that bus mangled missing windows as they work to get those kids out earlier this morning but those crews telling me what they're going to be doing is they're going to be piecing it all together they've had three different law enforcement agencies out here today arkansas state police the saline county sheriff's office and the bryant police department they're all working together taking pictures to recreate that scene that bus is going to be taken from here to a tow yard so they can further investigate and of course those details still rolling in but those injuries also being covered right now at local hospitals. That's where we find our Mitch McCoy. He's actually at Arkansas Children's Hospital. And Mitch, from what I'm understanding, 25 plus patients were taken to that hospital. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Hillary. Good afternoon to you. We have seen scattered movement outside the emergency department here at Arkansas Children's Hospital from coaches to parents, loved ones, even Arkansas State Troopers. Hillary mentioned that, that law enforcement presence out there. We've also seen it out here as they begin to interview family members, even some of those players, as they try and piece together exactly what happened. Arkansas Children's Hospital officials confirm they received 24 patients, all under the age of 18. All of those football players are stable and have non-life-threatening injuries, according to the hospital officials here. While the majority of the patients are here, hospitals across the area are treating victims of the bus crash from UAMS to CHI St. Vincent all the way to Celine Memorial, where that bus crash happened uh, near that hospital earlier this morning. We have seen some coaches and parents out here uh, who are on a second bus that actually made it back to Memphis safely. They traveled back here to Little Rock this morning to check on their team. A child lost their life, and it's just unfortunate because, he, you know, 11 years old, you know, how can you tell his kid's mom that, you know, he won't be coming back from Dallas, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, regardless of who it is, related to you or not, it's just, you, you don't want to hear that at all. Coaches and parents tell me they are praying right now. And back out here live at Arkansas Children's Hospital, we're seeing more of those family members and it, maybe even teammates out here outside Arkansas Children's Hospital as they are going back into the emergency room, checking in on their loved ones. And we've seen this kind of uh, uh, activity all morning as parents and as teammates come back to check on their uh, team players out here at Arkansas Children's Hospital. And even some of the folks that may have went to UAMS or CHI St. Vincent. A lot of those players and maybe even family members have been discharged from the hospital and they're coming over here to check on more of their teammates. So uh, it's important to note here that hospital officials say all of the 24 patients here at Arkansas Children's Hospital uh, are expected to survive. They're stable right now. Earlier this morning, we saw those Arkansas State Troopers uh, outside of the emergency department, probably interviewing some of those players and even 
even family members trying to piece together exactly what happened this morning. It's important to also note that we are expecting an update from Arkansas Children's Hospital at 2.45 this afternoon. They're going to go through some of the details on the patients, what they did to make sure that no one uh, here at the hospital passed away. We're live in Little Rock. Mitch McCoy, Arkansas Today. Mitch, thank you. Just a tragic story. Still a lot of questions in this case. We go to Aaron Nolan now, who has some more perspective on exactly where this happened. Yeah, Mallory, I want to go back to that drone video. Pause it right here for just a second. I want to make a quick point about where this is. We've been talking uh, all day about the exact location of this. This is going toward Dallas on Interstate 30. This, of course, going into central Arkansas. This loop would have take you, taken you onto Highway 70, and you can see the bus here. Let's put this back into motion. A couple more things that I want to show you here uh, that we have been able to notice as we continue to go along here. All right, so now you see where the bus where it is right now. If I pause it one more time, take a look at this. You can see here, these are the skid marks. There's a little ditch that runs right here. It looks like it has water in it. That's where I believe the bus took its first turn and started to roll. Of course, Arkansas State Police tells us that it did, in fact, roll over. You can see it in its location. And finally, as we continue to take a look at this video right now, take a look at this. From atop, you can see so much damage there. But Mallory, what really strikes me here, if I pause it one more time, is the distance that this bus is from the roadway. What a scary, scary ride. That must have been. We will continue to cover this story, and you can check for updates online and on air as we follow what happened on Interstate 30 as one child died, dozens more injured in a bus crash. Much more of Arkansas Today coming up next.